I've been waiting to edit this video for 11 months. I moved to New York right when I was filming it, so getting it up was nearly impossible. Today, I'd finally like to share the story. What's up everyone, it's John Carlo. we're back, and this one might be one of the craziest ones I have ever done. I think it is gonna be the craziest one I've ever done. Let me grab this package and show you what I'm talking about. This right here, in this box, is the Supreme BMX bike. UPS, that's for the record. Damaged on arrival. For the first time, I mean, I am just like in complete amazement at this package because I didn't think I'd get my hands on it just because of how limited it was. The retail price alone cost $1,900. At the moment, this bike is reselling for about $5,000. And I'm gonna open it. Damn, with the wheels like this up first. <laughs> this is the sneak peek I got. So I paid $37.50 for this bike. And I even have a pretty nasty collarbone story that I wanna talk about. I broke my collarbone. It's actually a titanium collarbone. When I got my license and when I got my car, needing a bike and this kind of transportation wasn't necessary. I'm really looking forward to holding onto it as an investment piece as well, because who knows what it could go for in five years. This is, uh, this is like my childhood best friend right here. I'm glad to say that it's over biking, something we used to do a lot. I really wanna see what this bike looks like, so I'm about to take it out of the packaging for the first time. Okay, so here's a single wheel. So we have our first component. All right, well, that's one part of the bike. Oh, handlebars. s and &M. Grip right there. It's actually a really heavy, solid frame. Uh, this is the back of it. This is the front of it. Is the chain on it? Yeah, chain's on it. Oh, wow, I thought we'd actually have to do a lot more than... Well, wow, it really came kind of like pre-built. We'll find out how easy this bike actually is going to be to build. The back tire is on as well. I mean, have you ever uh, built a bike? Fuck no. <laughs> Every time I bought a bike, it's been from Walmart. Oh, I literally was gonna say the same thing, bro. It's been a Huffy, a Huffy Rocket. Only the real ones know what a Huffy Rocket is. Or I had three of them. Or a Mongoose. Mongoose is a great brand, but they made Walmart Mongooses. I Walmart, have a Walmart, Walmart Mongoose. That's what I had too. The bike did not come assembled. I'm not a pro bike builder, but with a little bit of uh, intuition, I think Abby and I can get the job done. What all is included in this bike build? We have the wheel, the handlebars, pedals and bolts, a seat, decorative padding, and most importantly, the bike frame itself. What is this for? I don't know, what does it say? Redneck. Really? Is there an instruction manual? I have no idea where this goes. bike all laid out in all of its glory. The next part is to just put it together. This, this right here actually will unscrew, and as you can see, quite a long bolt, a bunch of grease on it. My hands are absolutely covered in grease. But I think this attaches like so. Holy shit, we have a bike now. <laughs> In there, that's where the handlebar is gonna be going into. And you can just tell that's welded. Do you think that $1,900 is justifiable? for the price retail for that bike? Absolutely not. You want you want to explain why? Explain why. Because <clears throat> I can go to Walmart and buy a Huffy Rocket <laughs> for
essentially the issue that we're facing is the back tire, maybe it was done because maybe this was somebody else that built it before us or we just have to figure out the brake tension system ourselves. And after a couple hours, we completed the bike build. I'm about to go meet up with one of my friends who has a professional movie camera, and we're gonna get some really sick cinematic shots of me riding the bike in its fully completed form. All right, guys, so we are at the park right now, and basically at the park, we're gonna be getting all the really cool high-resolution shots. Had to team up with the homies, Kurt. What's up, Kurt? Yo, what's good, y'all? Thanks for coming out today, G. And then, of course, you already know how to link up with the man, Zach. Look at these beautiful cameras that we have today, guys. G told me about this wild injury he had, guys. I've never heard the story, but I'm looking forward to hearing it. He's gonna break it down right now. So, I was uh, 15 years old. I had just moved to North Carolina. I had already told the viewers, too. I've been into BMX biking for a little bit. Like, I got, a, I got one as a present when I was eight years old, so I was always into it growing up in New York. Just had a bike riding it around all the time. I got this mongoose from Walmart, right? And I, my dad and I, we put a gyro on it so it could do the whole 360 thing. Like we had, like I got it set up this real right. Fits. This is, this is blazendary in the, in the works right So here. 2015, right. and I was just riding around in North Carolina on these back end roads I didn't know about. And I thought, oh, this is a little hill right here. So I'm riding down the hill. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do a little bunny hop. So right, I did a little right, bunny right. hop on the, on the, on the thing. And guess what happens? It's not, it's not actually a little hill, it's a drop right into oh. a creek, dude. <laughs> Eight foot drop into a creek, I fly over the front handlebars, and dude, I actually smash and break my collarbone. You can see the scar actually too, so, it's hard to see from here, but yeah. So this is the scar that I have right here from surgery. I got surgery a week after I broke my collarbone. It's a steel plate and six screws. Robocop, this dude's robo. <laughs> With the padding on it, I love the contrast because you can choose red padding or black padding. I decided to give it this black padding right here. First, and stand up fully, G, and cut. Not even express it what is it like it, it, the car said 105 didn't it 9500 something. something guys it's too hot it is way too hot but it's a beautiful bike i absolutely love the way it's been handling so far and just being on a bmx bike again like having this kind of physical activity sweating outside like it feels good <laughs> absolutely insane literally it's a tunnel two tunnels in fact i mean it's a road so be safe where you're at but let me just show you a little little tour of the spot so you got a drag strip and then over here we got Zach. <laughs> 